the outer coat is the part that the undercoat typically is falling out into and it gets mixed up in the mat of the undercoat. So the outer coat, as you can see here, we've got a tawny briard and we've got the outer coat here. This is the part that gives us the length. So her outer coat is about six inches long. She does have some undercoat. You can see that she's got some undercoat, but not a ton. She's a little bit more mature. She's four years old. The outer coat, again, you can see coming down the tail. So this is the outer coat. And the outer coat is best brushed with something like a pin brush. Okay. We've got some texture here for the outer coat. So this is the outer coat. Again, this is we're working right now with a double coated breed and there could be a different amount of under and outer coat. If she didn't have under coat, then you would see just her outer coat and it would be lying a lot flatter to her body. The undercoat serves a purpose of insulation and the outer coat serves a purpose of protection from the elements. So we've gone over now the difference between the outer coat and the undercoat. And again, the outer coat is where we're getting our length, okay? If we break the outer coat while we're brushing, we're going to be breaking the length off, okay? And we'll have a shorter coated breed, shorter coated dog. So we want to be careful when we're brushing the outer coat that we don't actually break it. We work with it with, with the appropriate tools and in the appropriate way that we're, keep, we're guarding the length here.